Prisoners Abroad is a charity that works with British citizens who are arrested and detained overseas. Prisoners Abroad needs the Foreign Office's support in order to get people registered with us so that they can get our help. Uh, consular staff can go on our website uh, and the forms are there to download. Uh, we need our authorisation form and the contact with family and friends form so we can help people and their family and friends as well. The best way for the Foreign Office to keep in touch with us is through our dedicated email address for Foreign Office staff. We take new referrals on a daily basis and we also ask that uh, you keep in touch with us when uh, you have an update about a case, if someone's moved or is coming up for release um, and we'll also be in touch regularly about our more vulnerable cases. Once someone is registered with Prisoners Abroad, we will send them an information pack. In that pack will be a handbook with advice and information about being in prison. There will also be a newsletter which we can send three times a year and some envelopes to help them write to family or friends for free. They will also have the chance to sign up for magazines and newspapers and we can send a parcel of books as well. Prisoners Abroad can send dictionaries and phrase books to somebody in prison to help them to understand the language of where they are. We also have volunteer translators who can look at documents and translate for the people who don't understand the language. We run support groups around the country, we have an online forum that families can go on to to share information and, and advice and we also have a free phone number which consular staff can give out to a family member so that they can keep in touch with prisoners abroad. Prisoners Abroad's Craig Fian Fund is a survival grant programme designed to help cover the cost of basic essentials in prison. It's used to help prisoners who don't have additional financial support from family and friends. Prisoners Abroad also has a vitamins fund, which is used to pay for vitamins to supplement the prison diet. We ask that consular staff take our application form when they visit a detainee for the first time and ask them if they are in need of additional financial support from us. Prisoners Abroad sends our funds via the FCO to staff at post. So the idea is that consular staff will take our funds with them when they go and visit a detainee every three months. Prisoners Abroad has a medical fund available if the prison or the authorities don't cover the cost of any medical treatment that's needed. Prisoners can apply to this fund by sending us a medical fund application form or by consular staff getting in touch with us to outline the help that's needed. There are limits as to how much we can cover financially so we'd encourage the prisoners or consular staff to get in touch with us before any money is paid so we can determine if we are able to assist. The fund is available for everyone regardless of where they are in the world and whether it's a developing or developed country. Prisoners Abroad Resettlement Service exists to help people rebuild their lives on the return to the UK. We would ask the consular staff to fill out a referral form to gather as much information about that person as possible. We also ask the, the prison themselves to complete a needs assessment, which is a self-assessment form. All this information has an impact on them being able to access services in the UK, including health services, welfare benefits, bank accounts, for instance. It's preferable if someone comes back with a passport as proof of ID. Uh, if someone doesn't have a passport, a certified copy of an emergency travel document will suffice in the short term. Prisoners Abroad works quite closely with the police and we do share information about higher risk returning um, offenders. For most people on, on arrival in the UK, they will go to a service called Travel Care they are small teams of uh, support workers and social workers who will assess someone's immediate needs um, and if they're registered with prisoners abroad they can direct the person to us and help them to get to our office. At that point we'll do our own assessment and we'll work out what the priorities are 